I'm Sharita and welcome to More Healthy Ideas. You don't have to be a gourmet cook to create a gourmet dish. And this recipe is so fantastic, you're going to want to keep it a secret from your friends. But sharing is good. It's roast pork with walnut stuffing and a balsamic reduction. And it tastes even better than it sounds. So let's begin. I've preheated my oven to 325 degrees because our first step is to toast our walnuts. Just place them on the baking sheet and bake for 10 minutes. This will enhance their nutty flavor. And when done, let the walnuts cool and then we're gonna chop them coarsely. Now we'll melt one tablespoon of unsalted butter in a medium skillet. Add some chopped onions. We want to cook over medium high heat until softened. This should take about five minutes. Then we'll add our whole wheat breadcrumbs, our toasted walnuts, rosemary, and parsley. We'll need to let the mixture cool, then we'll add our Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we're gonna make room for our stuffing, so I'm gonna show you how to roll cut the pork. With the pork roast sitting on the cutting board, we're gonna start by cutting closest to the board, about one half to a fourth inch above the bottom of the loin. You want to make sure you don't cut all the way through, stopping about a half an inch to go. We're gonna open the pork up like a book, three fourths of the way through, with more pages on the left than the right. Then we're gonna continue cutting the pork so it's distributed it evenly and it lays flat. To make it easier to stuff, you can trim the front and back so you have a rectangular piece of meat. Next, we'll take our tasty walnut mixture and spread it evenly over the pork. When finished, we'll tightly roll our pork loin, creating a long roll. You can tie it up at one inch intervals with cotton string or secure the seam with toothpicks. Finally, coat the pork roll with coarsely ground pepper. And it's ready to bake. Place it in the oven uncovered to bake at 325 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. I recommend you use a meat thermometer to make sure the internal temperature of the pork is at least 145 degrees. Now for a nice gourmet touch, the balsamic reduction sauce. This is the part of the meal that makes the whole thing sound fancy, but it's actually really easy to do. We're gonna start by adding our balsamic vinegar to a small saucepan. We wanna stir in our honey. And add a bay leaf. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Lower the heat to a steady simmer for about 30 minutes to allow the vinegar to reduce in volume, being sure to stir frequently. You know the sauce is done when it has a syrupy consistency and looks like this. When the pork is done, remove it from the oven and let it rest for about five minutes so it retains all of its juices. Be sure to remove any string or toothpick before slicing. We're gonna remove our bay leaf from our sauce and spoon it over our pork slices. For even a more dramatic presentation, you can garnish with a sprig of fresh rosemary. Now you have a delicious, heart-healthy main dish that's worthy of applause. Enjoy. For more great recipes, look for the Healthy Ideas Magazine on the web or the Healthy Ideas Magazine app for your iPad, Android tablet, or Kindle devices.